I've aged so much. Or unaged. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right, so a few months ago, I made this video, Seven Big Airdrops on Sui, and we discussed Sui name service. And very recently, we are eligible for the NS airdrop. That is the Sui NS. And that's what today's video is about. We're going to go over the Sui NS airdrop. What is Sui NS? How you use it? Other stuff introduction stuff and i'm dan and we're gonna walk through all of that in today's video as i start to come up with things to say starting off what is sui ns it is the sui name service it allows you to convert your long crypto address into a readable name if you're familiar with vitalik the founder of ethereum he uses the ethereum name service vitalik.eth so if we go to etherscan that replaces his 0x address, this address here, with Vitalik.eth. So he is the owner of it, and if we go to his address, we can see his balance, the hundreds of tokens that have been sent to him, and if we copy that address into DeepBank, we can see a lot of other data. Now, that is just to say with Ethereum name service, it simplifies your 0x address into something much simpler where you can just use Vitalik.eth. And a similar service is available on Sui called Sui Name Service. Now this is a little more interesting because it allows you to create subnames. So I own the Sui name, Full Value Dan, and a couple others that I bought super cheap on a trade port just to be eligible for the airdrop. But the cool thing is I can create subnames. So I can make a subname like Dan at Full Value Dan, and that would also work instead of my 0x address. I could also make other subnames. I could make Dan1234. Let's say I have a team and the Jimmy. Jimmy needs a, a Sui name. So I make Jimmy at full value Dan and that's his address. We could connect his wallet to that subname. And that is the more powerful feature that is available on Sui. So when it comes to the Sui name service, it does have this feature of replacing your 0x address with something you can type in. And it also has the power of subnames. So if you have a team of people, you have a corporation, or if you just have a few other accounts that you want to link together using your Sui NS accounts, you can do that. Now the airdrop already happened, but I think we can speculate that there might be more airdrops for Sui NS in the future because they said the first distribution of NS was made today in the form of a soul bound NFT with the name Sui NS NS airdrop, which means there could be more. There could be more airdrops on the way and we can just speculate and just stay active, which is why I have a few Sui names and a lot of them are expiring pretty soon, but they're all linked to my current address. And if you want to buy some Sui names on the cheap, you can go, you could go to Tradeport and uh, yeah, buy some for super cheap for like less than one Sui. So just a few cents, but of course you have to look at the expiration date, which is about two months from now. And you have to consider, is that enough time to qualify for any potential airdrops? Who knows? Now the first airdrop already happened and more airdrops can happen in the future. But just to explain, this is a soul bound NFT and we are able to redeem this in the future for NS tokens when those go live. So the details here, the NS token is the native token of the Sui NS protocol, the naming service on the Sui blockchain. Holders of this NFT will be able to convert to NS tokens upon launch. So this is something we should hold on to our wallets if we already have it. And we don't have to do anything with that for now, but we do have a credit for these tokens in the future. Now let's dive into the NS tokenomics. Now the NS token comes down to three essential features. It's going to give you governance voting rights, and you do have more governance voting power if you lock up those tokens. Additionally, it's going to get you discounts on the platform whenever you buy a SWE name. And jumping into the token distribution, we can see that 10% is going to the community, 57% is going to the treasury, 28% is going to core contributors, and 5% is going to governance rewards. So governance rewards, whenever you vote on a proposal, you're participating in governance, and then you'd also be eligible for some rewards. Now let's take a look at the treasury, which has the biggest chunk of things at 57% of the NS tokens. This will be allocated to the community and foundation treasuries. 
22% of the initial total NS token supply will be controlled by token holders through governance voting. So maybe that can turn into some interesting campaigns or rewards. 35% of the total NS token supply will be administered by the SWE NS Foundation. Now, this is something where we got to dig into the details here. The SWE NS Foundation will utilize treasury funds to help bootstrap the protocol. So that means they want it to grow, they want it to get attention, and they are committed to donating treasury funds not needed for operations back to the community. So anything that they don't need is going to go back to the community. So that could mean more rewards for community members. So maybe you want to participate, maybe you want to be active. The SWE NS token treasury is allocated to ensure the long-term viability of the SWE NS protocol. So they have this token to make sure that they can sustain itself, that they can still keep operating, that they continue a service that people need. In addition, the SWE NS Foundation has planned future community engagements regarding the use of treasury. So potentially, this could just mean more rewards for community members. And we should also know where that core contributor percent is going. 28% of the token supply will be distributed to core contributors and early backers. Investors and early team members will have a vesting schedule consisting of a one-year lockup and a three-year linear vest. Remaining tokens will be dedicated to Mistin Labs. Then we have details on the voting mechanics. Basically, when voting, tokens must be locked in the voting contract for the duration of the proposal. Users can select the number of tokens to vote with, lock, and choose yes, no, or abstain. Each proposal will have NS token rewards distributed to the voters at the end of the proposal based on their voting power. Users will have a number of days to vote on the proposal dictated by the time frame selected by the proposer. Initially, a minimum of 10% of the circulating supply of NS tokens will need to participate in the vote for the past proposal to be valid. And more details here, each token is one vote. Users will be allowed to stake their tokens, lock those tokens to increase their voting power. NS tokens can be staked from 1 to 12 months. Each user's voting power will increase by 10% each month they have their token staked, such that one non-staked token will equate to one voting power, one staked token for greater than two months will equate to 1.21 voting power. And then they also go over the reward distribution after these votes based on your voting power. So if you are going to participate in SWE and NES and in their governance proposal and have these tokens, you're going to want to participate in these to get those additional rewards. There's going to be a total of 500 million tokens and 10% of that is going to the airdrop. And if we look at my airdrop, you know, I got 1,171 NS tokens, which is pretty good considering that there are 50 million tokens being airdropped and it's being distributed to a lot of different holders. So I'm pretty happy with getting this airdrop. Now, this isn't to say that you should buy the NS token. It's just important to understand that this airdrop is available to people who participate early. There's going to be more rewards in the future. And what can you do with these tokens? So I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, feel free to do things that engage with this video so uh, more people see it. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.